Many concept cars are very easy to view in kind of a blanket way. They're vehicles which may look very nice but don't really do that much or mean that much, especially in the case of concept supercars. Now there are two companies in particular that have a pretty good history of making concept supercars and they are Peugeot and Volkswagen. Unfortunately, both of those companies, despite having made between them quite a few concept supercars, never really make them. And that's a real shame, because they've made some incredible ones. Peugeot, for instance, made the 907, the Oxia, and this, the Onyx. Now, I have to be completely honest, this was a car which I didn't particularly care that much about until I looked into it, because this car is powered by a diesel engine, and I love high-performance diesel cars. It's powered not just by any diesel, but by the 3.7 litre, 600 horsepower diesel from Peugeot's Le Mans 908. Combined with an electric motor, this car puts out 680 horsepower and actually works on the road. It has usable performance. But it's not just about the performance, because this car uses some very intriguing methods of build. The interior, for instance, uses what appears to be very grainy, light-coloured wood. But it's actually not. It's compressed newspaper. Now that sounds ridiculous, but it looks incredible. They managed to actually pull that off. The bodywork as well is partially made of copper, and it's allowed to oxidise over time, which actually means that the car's colour will change over the course of its life to a tone of green. Now overall, these things won't necessarily reach production anytime soon, but it really is incredible to see just how creative manufacturers can be. And although we can probably never experience this car in real life as a production vehicle, although it's quite feasible as a production supercar, at least we do get to use this car in the world of Drive Club. And it's incredible. It can actually take on vehicles such as the Gumper Apollo.